Good afternoon and welcome back to the King Abdulaziz International Center, Riyadh. I'm Anthony Berkeley, Director of ACT, the investment arm for the FII Institute. We're the organizers for this event, and please join me in a very warm welcome for Peter Rawlinson, CEO, Lucid Motors. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining me here. I I'm really here to speak about the future of the electric car. And forgive me for being a bit biased, but I think there it is. That's the future of the electric car, uh, the Lucid Air. <laughs> Going into production um, and, and available to customers literally from this weekend. I'm dashing back to California after speaking to you to deliver to our first customers. And I'm really keen to get this available to customers here in the kingdom because the kingdom is our second biggest market in terms of pre-orders. So Lucid Air is coming to town pretty soon for you to all enjoy. And I hope some of you had the opportunity to take a look at the, the Lucid Air. We've got a gold one inspired by the sands of the desert run outside the Ritz-Carlton. But let's go back a little way. About eight years ago, I joined a little company, about 20 people, called Ativa, and it had battery technology and high hopes, and we wanted to do a car. And so where do you start doing an electric car? Start with some drivetrain, drivetrain technology. We didn't have a car to put it in, so we stuffed it in that van, and as you can see, the van's pretty quick. I think it's blowing off a, a Ferrari and a Nismo GTR there. So these were promising times. But we really couldn't market a car with the name Ativa. And we needed a, a really world-class vehicle, something that people were going to really relate to. So in 2016, we rolled out our very first prototype of the Lucid Air, an alpha prototype. This wasn't a show car. This was a running, driving car. And actually, the cars changed very little from that date. And at that juncture, in December 16, we changed our name to Lucid. And um, I hope that resonates. It means transparency, clarity, clarity of purpose. Now, this wasn't to be any car. I really wanted to advance the state of the art of the electric car. And that meant something called the space concept. By sculpting the batteries around the occupants, by miniaturizing the powertrain, we could make a car which was smaller and more compact and more agile on the outside, but larger and more roomier and more comfortable on the inside. No one had ever done this before. But the key to this was mastering our own destiny with complete control of miniaturization of our electric powertrain. So let's take a look at how we did this. This is our drive unit. We have one of these at the front of the car, one at the rear. Each is rated up to 670 horsepower. This is all done in-house, and it comprises motor, transmission, differential, and power electronics in a bundle, a complete combined unit. And if we look at the statistics for this, we see that it's capable of 670 horsepower, and it's nearly triple the power to weight ratio of the best of the competition. And in this case, it's uh, a well-known uh, EV brand from the US and a well-known EV brand from Germany. I'll leave you to guess who they may be. But we're about three times the power to weight ratio. This is unprecedented. This is the future. So around about 2016, I did something which was deemed a bit crazy. We went motor racing. And we created the battery pack for the World Championship Formula E race series. And up till then, the racing had been really limited by battery per pack capacity. And the races had this ridiculous spectacle where the car would run out of electricity halfway through the race, and the driver would have to jump from one car to another. We changed all that. Our pack runs the full distance. And for the last three seasons, all the cars in Formula E, all the major automakers, have used Lucid battery technology. And we were able to transfer this knowledge to the pack which you see there, which is the Lucid Air Pack. That's uh, up to 118 kilowatt hours in the case of the Dream Editions. So, high hopes, great technology, car lined up, what did we need? 
And fate had it that in 2018, we met our dear partners, the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, and they put faith in Lucid. They recognized the technology, they had the vision, they had the, the um, entrepreneurial guile, and the, uh, the, the, the ability to see that this could be huge. And so hats off to the Public Investment Fund, thank you for really enabling our dream to become very close to reality right now. And you know, sometimes in life things go full circle, and here it was meant to be. The very first time our uh, battery pack was used in Formula E, we couldn't have planned this, was at Diria in 2018, here in Riyadh. The first Formula E race in the kingdom, the first time that Lucid Air batteries powered the whole of the field, the 24 cars. So with the PIF funding, we were off to the races. We didn't have a factory. So in 2020, we built a factory, the first purpose-built electric vehicle factory in North America. And we did that in record time. We did that just nine months from laying the foundations and digging the dirt to having a pilot line of cars going down that line in September last year. Just nine months. I believe that's a world record. But we need a sales and service network. And so we've matched the demographics of our reservation holders right across the USA and opened a series of studios for direct sales to customer, a direct sales experience. And these stores are in great iconic cities right across the USA, from Los Angeles to Miami to New York to Boston, Chicago, and uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. And we're providing support through our mobile service network right across the states as well. We'll have about 22 facilities open come the end of this year. So the stage was set, and earlier this year, I had the privilege of leading the company to go public, and here I am with uh, my esteemed colleagues and His Excellency Yasser Al Rumayan, who visited me, accompanied me there on the NASDAQ, where we went public on the 26th of July this year. We went through a, a SPAC process, and I think it was the, the largest SPAC at its, at its time uh, that had been achieved. And we raised 4.4 billion dollars at that juncture, which put us in a really healthy position. And then, following that, we announced a landmark, a landmark technical achievement for our car. The first EV over 500 miles range on EPA cycle, which is 520. We like to under-promise and over-deliver. We'd indicated it would be 517, and we confirmed that this year that's a genuine US government confirmed rating, independently verified. And this is over 100 miles more range than the best of the competition. And this is a landmark. But let me tell you, anyone could do this by just stuffing a whole bunch of batteries in. That would be a pretty dumb thing, wouldn't it? That's the last thing we should be doing, stuffing more batteries in to achieve range. That's what I call dumb range. So I put it to you that efficiency is the new imperative. What do I mean by that? If we can go further with less batteries, that's true environmentalism. And how can we do that? Through high technology. Let's have a look at what this means. So here we have the longest range electric vehicles recorded in the US by the EPA rating standard. And if you look, the top six there's a common theme there, they're all lucid. This is real. This is validated by the US government Environmental Protection Agency. You can see that lucid holds the crown for range. But, as I say, to do that with a big battery pack, that's pretty dumb. That's not what we, the planet needs. We want to do this with less batteries. And we've achieved this 516 miles range in the case of our Grand Touring car for just a 112 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's unprecedented. That means we can go 4.6 miles per kilowatt hour. This, ladies and gentlemen, is truly the litmus 
of the technological prowess of an EV company. And I believe the future will be defined by a tech race between the companies that adopt and embrace EV technology. And that's why I would believe Tesla's value today of over $1 trillion is based upon its technological prowess. Other companies buy parts and components, motors, inverters, and batteries off the shelf. To the best of my knowledge, there are only two EV companies in the world today that design, develop, and manufacture not just their own battery packs, but their motors, their inverters, the software, even the transmission. And those two companies are Tesla and Lucid. Now, what does this mean? Step one on the chessboard, I can go over 500 miles. I can create a technological tour de force that will define our brand. I believe that brand is defined by product. There are countless precedents in, in commerce where product has defined brand. More or less defined uh, Tesla. Lucid Air will define Lucid. But the next move on the chessboard will be enabling us to create a car with a more modest range, competitive range, at say 400 miles. And because we've got this incredible efficiency, we can achieve this with a smaller battery pack. And that means less cost, because the battery is the biggest single cost item in the car. We can go competitive at 400 miles with an 88 kilowatt hour pack, which is lighter, more cost effective, takes up less room than anyone else. And then we turn this, what is now a technological advantage, on its head to become a commercial advantage. Lighter car, lower costs. And what does that mean? Well, let's look at where we're going to be in a year or two's time. Right now, Dream Edition car is 169,000 US dollars. My dream is to get to a pure version of Lucid Air in the $70,000 price point. And look at the volume sensitivity here to price. And here's the enabler, our efficiency to get the cost down by minimizing the size of the battery pack in a way no one else can. And in readiness for that, although we've built a million square foot state-of-the-art electric vehicle factory, the first in North America, we're already quadrupling the size. These pictures were taken just a couple of weeks ago, expanding by 2.85 million square feet, quadrupling the size so that we can go from a 30,000 units per annum capability to 90,000. And it's really my dream that we can help catalyze with this knowledge and this manufacturing prowess, help catalyze the genesis of an EV industry here in the kingdom. And all mankind will benefit from that. The kingdom will benefit, but we all benefit from the environmental consequences of going to a sustainable mobility model. So, we come full circle back to Lucid Air, inspired by the desert sand. I'm going, catching a plane immediately as I leave here, back to California, fulfillment of many years' endeavor to hand the keys of our cars to beloved customers. And hopefully, I really look forward to doing that next summer back here in the kingdom for key customers here. And I'll leave you with one thought. Again, the future of the EV will be determined. This glittering prize that we can fight for, it will be determined by a technology race. There's one thing just buying a load of motors and battery technology and software off the shelf and glueing it into a car. And there are big names doing that. Big established car companies, that's what they're doing. And they get low efficiency. And those low efficiency cars, you know, not all EVs are equal. There is a, such a thing as a gas guzzling EV. Some EVs take twice the energy than others have twice the environmental impact. We need to catalyze and strive for this tech race which will enable efficient EVs. And if you want to judge what's a high-tech EV, an efficient EV, 
Just look for how many miles per kilowatt hour it does, and you can judge for yourself in this tech race. Uh, we want to be a real part of this, and I just, you know, I'm so excited by the technology, the roadmap that Lucid's got ahead. So with that, with that note of optimism, thank you very much. Thank you.